Hey guys and welcome to another Pygame tutorial here on the Coders Legacy channel. In this video we're going to take a look at surfaces in Pygame. So surfaces are pretty underrated in the sense that even though they're used almost everywhere, people don't really know much about them. Okay, And the thing is, the reason why people don't know much about them is because, is because they don't even know that they're using them. Okay, like You may be surprised to hear that whenever you load an image in Pygame, Okay, when you use pygame.image.load, what actually happens is that it creates a surface object. Okay, when you render a font in Pygame, okay, when you use my font something dot render, it returns a surface object. Okay, surfaces in Pygame are basically the stuff that you draw to the screen. Okay, everything that you draw to the screen is basically a surface. Okay, with the exception of shapes, okay, like uh, rects or circles or stuff, okay, um, with the exception of those, okay, images, text, uh, this kind of stuff, it's surfaces, okay, surfaces are drawn uh, in this manner, okay, uh, one very easy way of, you know, telling, one easy way of knowing if something is a surface or not, from my observation, that is, it's this display.blit okay you use the blit function for surfaces okay anything that comes in a blit function from my experience is a surface okay for images yep you, you use display.blit for uh, text you use display.blit okay and nothing else really comes to mind right now but yeah there's only there are other functions like pygame.rect.draw and stuff but those are for shapes in pygame okay that's a separate topic and i'll have a separate video on that okay but basically i just want to talk about surfaces right now okay so basically if you haven't already gotten the gist of it what really happens that is that we use surfaces a lot but we use them implicitly okay like we don't actually go around creating them ourselves like, you know like we don't go around explicitly creating them so let me just show you guys how to do that okay because it's kind of important and you may need it sometime okay so you guys should know i guess so i'll make this surface object here called my surface okay and de declare it using pygame.surface okay and this is just takes one parameter okay it's pretty easy to make just one parameter which is the size okay uh width and height that's it in a tuple so uh it'll be something like 200 on the x and 100 on the y okay you know what? that's too big 100 on the x and 50 on the y so i'm just gonna go ahead and create a few more objects now okay and uh, I'll call it my surface one, my surface two, etc. Pygame dot surface, and let's make this a square, okay? And my surface three, okay? Pygame dot surface, okay? And this can be fifty by hundred, okay? Now there's one more thing we need to do before drawing them, which is giving them a color. Wait, we'll do that up here. My surface one dot fill. And this takes a tuple of RGB values. And in case you didn't already know, RGB values are basically uh, it's a tuple with three values, integer values, and each of them ranges from zero to two fifty five. Okay. And for example, if um, okay, there are three variables. Okay, uh, R, G, and B. Okay. And basically, what you need to do is that the combination of values that you give makes the end color okay so if i do 255 on r which is the first one rgb if i do 255 on this one basically maxing it out what i get is the color red okay now let me just copy paste this and do this okay what i want to do here is make this one blue so i'll make wait no this will be green okay because r g and b red green blue okay it's a pretty simple concept, so I hope you guys picked it up real quick, if you haven't already. Okay, so this last one will be blue. Okay, and let me just change that. Okay, my surface 1, my surface 2, my surface 3. And what we need to do down here now is actually draw them. Display dot blit. <sighs> this is getting exhausting. My surface 1. And this will take a tuple of uh, x and y values. Because, you know, where you want to draw it. So I'll just give it something like 20 and 20, okay? And I'll copy paste this now. All right, and change this to three and four, sorry, two and three. And over here, I'm gonna say something like 
this can be drawn to 100 by 100 and this one can be drawn something like 280 okay just random coordinates okay and let's run this code now and see our surfaces and there you go these are our surfaces okay now they're pretty simple right now obviously but you can make them more advanced like if for example let's say that you're making a game and you want to make some kind of a gui window or something maybe you can use surfaces uh, over there like if you want to make an inventory menu pop up so you can use uh, you know a surface which is brown or something okay and you can make smaller surfaces for the inventory icons and stuff maybe okay it's, all, it's up to you okay but from my experience we don't usually use surfaces all that much okay i mean in the way that i'm teaching you guys right now that is okay but what we most certainly do use surfaces we use them in uh images when we're loading images and in text and stuff okay so they are very important okay so yeah i hope you guys learned something new today and i hope you guys subscribe and you know leave a like and stuff so i'll see you guys in a later video okay till next time then